Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make an apron. This pattern that I'm giving you is a very basic pattern, but you can choose to put this pocket on or leave it off. You can also choose to leave the bib area plain or put it on. Also, this uh, measurements for this pattern fit an average size person so you may want to take those measurements see if it's going to be long enough or maybe you need to shorten it widen it narrow it also you might want to check out that neck strap to make sure it's long enough or maybe it's too long and also the length of your ties you may want them longer or shorter that's what's so neat about this pattern you get to make it to adapt to your body type. So let's get started. The fabric that I'm using was purchased from Walmart. It's a really fun fabric and very reasonably priced. Not all Walmarts carry fabric, so check out your local Walmart store to see if they have fabric for you. Here is the pattern for the apron. The dimensions are four and a half inches at the top. Go down 28 inches, then go across 17 inches. Put a little mark up one inch above the 17 inch line. And then from this one inch mark, go up about 16 and a half inches and put another little mark. This is goes on the fold. So you're going to draw a gentle sloping curve down from the four and a half inch to the sixteen and a half inch. From the one inch, you're going to draw another little gentle curve going down to about the middle down here. So the actual pattern is where you see the highlighted areas and you use this for both the fabric for the outside and your lining for the pocket. Remember the pocket is optional. This is four inches. You'll go down 16 inches over eight, go up 10 inches. This is the fold, so this size goes on the fold line. And you're going to draw a straight line from this 10 inch mark up to the 4 inch mark. And this is the pocket for the lower part of the apron. You use this same pattern for the outside fabric and the lining. You're going to cut two pieces of fabric for the neck strap that are two and a half by 25 inches. And I would measure your area from the top of the bib around your neck down to the top of the bib because this might be too long for some of you or not long enough for others. For the ties that go around the waist, cut four two and a half inches by 22 inches. I recommend you fold your fabric with the front sides of the fabric together so that you can draw your lines on the back side of your fabric. Because I'm putting this on a video, a regular fabric marker just really didn't show up. So I'm using a Sharpie. I don't recommend you use Sharpies on your fabric, but it's only for the purpose of this video. I first started out up here on the folded edge. I drew a line out this way 4 inches. Then I came down 28 inches down to here. And I drew a line straight out 17 inches long. Then I came up 1 inch right there and put a mark. Then draw a slightly curved line until you come about halfway in. From the 1 inch 
I went up 16 inches, put a little mark, and then drew a gentle curve up to the four inch mark. I recommend that that's how you go about cutting out your pieces. To make the pocket, again, fold your fabric with front sides together, use your pocket measurements, and go about drawing it in the same manner. Place pins on the inside of your drawn lines to keep the fabric from shifting while you are cutting it out so that you don't have to draw your lines all over again for your other fabric just lay your piece on top pin it to the fabric and then cut out your other piece this pattern that i've just given you for the apron is just a very basic apron pattern so you can use it to change it around whenever you want to I want to use another piece of fabric up here at the top just to kind of make it look a little different. So if you want this area up here with different fabric, all you need to do is lay this on top of whatever fabric you want to use and cut out this same shape. So here is the fabric that I chose. It was sort of this mountain lodge fabric. So all I did was lay it on top and cut out. Now it's not going to be quite this long but this just gives you an idea. I also want to add a strip of fabric up here at the top. So here is a sample of what I'm going to I'm also going to go down here somewhere in the bottom. This piece isn't going to be quite this long. I just cut it out a little bigger until I decided how long I wanted it. And then I'm also going to put this same fabric down here somewhere. This strip size that I've cut out is about two inches wide. By the time it is stitched on, it will be one and a half inches finished size this way. In order for this bib piece to fit on the upper part of the apron with the little border strips on each end, I'm going to cut some of this off. So I'm going to cut one and a half inches because remember the finish size of that strip is one and a half inches. So I don't need this extra fabric there. So just cut that much off. Then I'm gonna go down from this edge six, maybe six and a half inches or so from this top piece here. Let me see now. One, two, three, four, five. That's five, six, I think I'll go down six and a half. Okay, that's about how big I'd like to make it. So I'm gonna cut this part off. Take the little border strips and bring them front side down. Line it up at the edge up here. And you're also gonna take another one and put it at the bottom edge and line it up. Make sure it's front side down. Then you're going to stitch a half inch seam along here and a half inch seam along here. After stitching, press the seams, then fold it over and press on top. And this excess we're going to cut off a little bit later, but just leave it on for now. Lay this piece down with front side up. Take your apron and lay it on top and line it up here at the edge. And this is where we're going to trim everything to be an exact fit. Place pins along the edge to hold and then go ahead and trim this to be an exact fit. On the back of this, fold this lower edge over a half an inch. Then place it on top of the upper bib. Line up your edges and then stitch across this lower edge all the way across and then do a, maybe a machine basting stitch up along here, across, and down. Bring your two pieces of fabric that is for the pocket, the outside fabric and the lining. Bring front sides together. Pin it along these edges here. Stitch a half inch seam all the way around here. 
leave this edge open. I trim some of the fabric off at these four corners here. So just trim a little bit off at an angle this way and go this way. And if you're using a rotary cutter, make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. And then go across this way. You just want to get some of the bulk off of the corner. And continue doing the other two corners. Reach inside and turn it front side out. After turning it front side out, then press all of the edges nice and flat. Then stitch about an eighth of an inch from the raw edge all the way around these sides here. You can still leave the bottom open. Place the bottom edge along the bottom edge of the apron on the front and make sure you center it across here. Then place pins to hold and you're going to stitch along this side here, up here, and along here. And make sure you do back stitches here and up here because these are stress points and they could come undone if you don't back stitch. And while you're stitching, just stitch right on top of your previous stitches that you just did. Take your fabric for your neck strap and bring front sides together. Then on one side, you're going to stitch one quarter inch all along this edge. On the other side, you're going to stitch up and stop and in the middle leave an opening and then stitch the rest of the way down. Then you can reach inside this opening and just begin to push it through. Press the strap, pin your opening closed, and stitch on each side about an eighth of an inch from the edge. For the ties that go around the waist, you bring front sides together. And then you're going to stitch on three sides. Go across the bottom edge on one side and then back up. A tip for sewing around the corners is let your needle stay down in the corner when you're a quarter of an inch away. Then lift the presser foot, turn this, lower the presser foot, and continue stitching. And do that at corners and you won't lose your place and everything stays even. So again, do one quarter inch seam, then trim some of the corners off. It's going to make your corners lay a lot flatter, so be careful that you don't cut through your stitch line. And you're going to do this on both corners. Then you're going to turn it front side out. After you've turned it front side out, then press it and then do top stitching an eighth of an inch all the way around the three sides. One end is left open, and remember, you make two ties. Place each end of the neck strap up at the top edge. Keep this side of the strap about a half inch away from this side here and this side here. Place the waist tie, one on each side, about a half inch away from this top edge and pin it down. And you want to keep it folded out of the way. You want to keep all of your straps folded towards the inside center. Have the front of your apron facing up. Then place your lining front side down on top. And line up all of your edges and place pins around the edges. On one side, you're going to leave an opening large enough for your hand to go through so that you can turn it front side out. Do one half inch seam all the way around, but don't stitch over your opening. After stitching around the corners, trim some of the fabric off all of the corners so that your corners will lay really smooth. 
In each area that goes under the arm, I like to trim a little bit of that seam off so that it will lay smoother. Also, around curved edges, it's always a good idea to do little clips. That also helps everything to lay a lot smoother. Reach inside of your opening and begin turning it front side out. One of the things that I like to do that I think really helps me while I'm pressing or giving a, a garment a final press is to place pins along the edges to make sure that they are evenly placed along there because they can shift and go all over the place. So if you want, place pins there. Also pin your opening closed over here. After pressing, then go in one quarter inch from the edges and stitch a quarter inch around all of the edges. For more apron projects, go to the green screen at the end of this video and click on the links. If you like this video, click on the old thumbs up button. Also, click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to enter your email address and click on that little bell so you receive future email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing!